Hello, hi, hi, hello. So I'm cold, which is why I got on this jacket. Um, I'm still here. <laughs> same, same edges, same earrings, same shirt, just with a jacket on, huh? The baby, this futon so comfortable. <laughs> Listen here, baby, I just want to sleep on this thing tonight. I really, I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna sleep on the futon tonight, y'all. But anyway, nevertheless. We are here with another reaction video that came across my desk. I know my life can get crazy. Just remain solid and know that I got it. Choose around the globe. We can fly, fly, but change the time zone. Switching up climate. When the time touch down in the trap. Never mind the hate. No, can we pop? However, I'm rolling. I know that you rocking. I pitch you a team to tell you go shop. She more the company and she a look cocky. I really think that's how she got me. All the way she is, you rocking with me. Okay, so let me get a disclaimer. Upstairs neighbors. Y'all know they loud. So if y'all hear some banging, look, I guess same disclaimer. It, I don't, I can't, I can't do nothing. <laughs> I just ain't gonna let, nobody will let me be great. Nobody respects my artistry whatsoever, like at all. But one thing I'm not gonna do is stop recording or uh, redo this video. So this came across my desk and um, I was asked what my opinion was. On, on this his situation um okay so we gonna play the video and i'm gonna give my opinion on it okay let's let's make sure we're recording okay and let's go seven baby mamas now for the past few days i've been going live telling my story Seven speaking my truth moms. and a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat because i tell them i was being irresponsible yet yeah, not wearing protection but i always tell uh, these women that i got pregnant that i do not want to be a father to these children and i offer to pay for the abortion majority okay, of times so they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan b okay but so he said he always tell the women that he don't want to be a father, okay? I could have the unpopular opinion, but I have two opinions. I'm on both sides of the fence. I'm, let me let the let me let the video. Let me, yeah. Only these seven have kept these children. Damn, but the crazy you? thing about it is, they want me to be responsible Jesus. for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now, some of them been trying to get in contact with me. Access denied. Because I, I don't really know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically. And I don't give a what nobody think about it. You're not going to force children up on me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We both was irresponsible about the decisions we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. And I ain't care to pull out See, because yeah, that's you up, I ain't the one that's going to have to carry a baby for nine months. It's the woman. In that's my selfish. opinion, women should be more careful on who they sleep with. Handle. Because you're going to be like one of my baby mamas trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them yeah, I did yeah. not want. <laughs> Another thing is these just jump offs. Wow. These are the type of women that I ain't even had to do nothing for. The bad minimum, but they gave me access to their body, and they think I want to be a, a father to a child for one of them? Like, I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? Yeah, I do. I just don't give a f You ain't going to force these children on me when I told you I ain't want them. Yeah, I can offer to or pay for abortion, but at what point can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I cannot. A woman say, my body, my choice, but I say, it's my life, my choice. Before y'all try to stitch this and be like, black man this, black man that, I don't give a f I really don't. Okay, okay. Let me, let me... <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, so my opinion, okay, I have two opinions. I agree and disagree. First of all, the court gonna force some kids on you, baby. You ain't got to worry about it. I don't give a damn if you didn't want them. The court gonna make you pay child support. I this 
this hit close to home because my daddy had seven or eight kids by seven or eight different women. At this point, I don't even know. It's ten, nine. It's somewhere between seven and ten. I don't know how many it is of us. I lost count. He probably got some more out there we don't know about because there's some just, they coming back out of nowhere. That's not the point. But he did the same thing. Let me tell you something back. My daddy didn't even sign my birth certificate. He ain't want my black ass either. <laughs> he he didn't want my black ass either. Come on, train. You just had to come while I was recording. But let me tell you what my mama did. Baby, my mama was a single parent. Okay? My mama was a single parent. She knew what she was getting herself into. She knew. As much as I love my daddy, God rest his soul. He was a rolling stone. <laughs> he was he was a rolling stone. And she knew that he was a rolling stone. But she still had a baby, chose not to get an abortion that I know of. I don't know. I might eat her ass. I don't think she did. Far as I know. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she didn't she wasn't ready for no kid, especially by a dude who didn't want no kids. Or uh, more kids. Or wanted to take care of more kids. But the fact that he said up front that he wasn't going to take care of the kids should have been your decision to either get rid of the child or keep the child and know that you are going to have to take care of that child by yourself. That's what my takeaway from it is. Now, I don't agree. The fact, sir, you laid down and made this child with this woman. You didn't pull out on purpose. It takes two people to make a baby. So basically, you out here making babies, and that train is really bothering me. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so I stay really close to a train track, and yeah. It's it's like here, you have to record in the daytime versus my old apartment. It was like you got to record at night. It's weird, but <laughs> at least it ain't no fighting and gunshots. That's, I'm cool. But it's like you, it take two people to make a baby. So you actually didn't pull out on purpose knowing that you could make a baby. First of all, you got seven baby mamas. And if them the ones who didn't get an abortion, I can only imagine how much of your semen is just floating around. Literally. Okay, sir, stop having sex. <laughs> like somebody need you need a vasectomy or something. I think that's what it is. It called a vasectomy. Uh, whatever they call it, I don't know. But they need to cut up this balls off. So that oh, that was brutal. <laughs> you have to say. <laughs> My bad. I I ain't have to say it like that. But he needs to not have no more kids. Like you need to just stop having. He need to be celibate like me. Um, sir. Yeah, he a hoe. Um, and I I have to agree with the fact that he said, ladies, you need to you need to choose who you give yourself to. As a celibate woman, I have to agree with that statement. Because you knew he wasn't shit and you decided to still fuck with him. And now you stuck with a baby that you gotta take care of yourself. The man that told you up front, first of all, the court, like I said, he gonna have to pay child support whether he like it or not. I don't give a damn. They gonna take your ass to court, period, on mama now, and you gonna have to come off that coin. My daddy had to come off that coin. He didn't even sign my birth certificate and had to come off that coin. <laughs> like, sir, you got to come. They don't give a shit whether you acknowledge the child or not. You the daddy, ain't you? I's the pappy. Then you gonna have to come off that coin. But the fact that he told y'all ahead of time that he wasn't shit and that he actually was not going to take care of the baby and didn't want a baby, that should have been it for you right there. That that was your warning. That in your mind, as a woman, you should have thought, am I going to keep this baby and take care of it myself? Or... Well, I mean, uh, yeah, or get rid of the baby. Like, what? What? Have, that would have been your decision. My, me personally, in this age, I would keep the baby and not expect shit from him. If that's what you said, that's what you said. I'm just gonna have to be a single mama. 
my mama did it. I'm going to do it. If I want to keep the child, I'm going to be a single parent. Because to me, it's like, it's some deadbeats. And like I said, I have unpopular opinions on things. And he would be considered a deadbeat. But it's like, again, you already knew that going in. Like, you already knew he was a deadbeat. And even still, that does not make what you're doing right, sir. You brought the baby in the world. It's, it's cold hearted and fucked up because if you can ask if you ask anybody in my family if you ask my mama again my daddy was not the best daddy I wouldn't call him a deadbeat but I, I he wasn't the best he wasn't around that much and the, the crazy part is we were actually getting closer right before he died so that part kind of hurt but even still my mama made me go and spend summers with my daddy's family she wanted me to know both sides of my family. Even if my dad, without my daddy, even if he didn't acknowledge me, my mama took it upon herself. No, you gonna know both sides of your family. And my daddy family accepted me because they knew I was his child. So it's like my mama took it upon herself to be a single mama. Did she like it? Hell no. Did she complain about it? Hell yeah. But she did what she had to do though. She didn't expect shit from my daddy. Like, she didn't. So, I feel like what he's saying is, he's basically telling y'all, either you're going to get an abortion because I'm not doing shit for this child, or you're going to take care of the child yourself. So, I don't think he's wrong in the way he feels because that's how he feels. I feel like everybody is entitled to their own feeling. I'm not saying what he feels is okay. Because, again, I'm half and half on it. But he's entitled to feel that way. If he didn't want the child, first of all, if he didn't want it, he shouldn't have made that motherfucker. Again, you shouldn't be fucking. Period. Oh, you, you need to just stop it. But if you didn't want it and he said up front he didn't want it, he said up front he didn't want it. Like, that's purely your decision. Like, he, my body, my choice. If you want to keep the baby, then you have to accept what it is that he's saying. Whether you like it or not, he's not going to change. You can't change nobody. So you going into it knowing he a deadbeat. He, how he feel is how he feel. He's not going to change how he feel. And women not going to like it, but it's common. That happens a lot. There's a lot of deadbeat dads out there. I do feel like he's deadbeat. He was just a deadbeat with a warning. He was just a deadbeat with a red sign because he told you he was going to be a deadbeat. So it's like he's saying, all you niggas that call me a deadbeat. No, you a deadbeat. It's just that you warned them that you were going to be a deadbeat before you became a deadbeat daddy. <laughs> like, you literally gave a warning. Warning, warning, warning. Dangerous, hazardous, just big old warning sign. That's my personal opinion on it. I was asked to give my opinion on it. That's how I feel about it. Is It's like, I can't really be mad at him like I would a daddy who said they was going to be there or didn't say up front, like, I'm not going to be there for this child. And then they just go ghost. Or they not do nothing for the child. Then it's like, okay, you really a deadbeat dick. But for him, like I said, he's entitled to how he feels. Even if it's fucked up, he's still entitled to feel how he feels. Like, and again, that might not be, that might be an unpopular opinion, but he said what he said. He a deadbeat. <laughs> he just, he don't want to call himself that, but that's what he is. It's just that, like I said, he did it with a warning. You knew he was going to be that. So you make the decision on if you're going to be a single parent, love the child, take care of the child yourself, or you just not going to have the child. Me, I would have it. Now, if I was younger... I probably wouldn't. Um, I'm 30. <laughs> so as a 30-year-old, first of all, I wouldn't put myself in that situation. I ain't no jump off, for one. I'm celibate hell. I didn't even used to be a jump. I was a whore, but I was a classy whore. <laughs> I was a classy whore. I wasn't no jump off. <laughs> I guarantee you that is what I was not. I was a strategic hoe. I wouldn't have... <laughs> 
I wasn't just out of here just jump, jumping off or whatever you want to call it. But, and I also knew to protect myself, I wasn't stupid. But back then, no, I definitely would have got an abortion. But now, I would, if I did put myself in that situation, I would just keep the child and be a single parent. I wouldn't want shit from you. I probably, honestly, I don't even know that I would take him to court. It depends on what my financial situation was, but I don't even know that I would take him to court because it's like, nigga, I don't want shit from you. I don't want to talk to you. Like he said, no response or access denied. I would have access denied his ass. Oh, okay. That's how you feel? Bet. I'm going to raise this child on my own. That's just what it's going to be. Or not have it. But like I said, at my age, I probably would and just take care of it myself. That's my personal opinion. I was asked to give my opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. So, y'all can put y'all opinion in the, in the comments. Just don't be dis Please don't be disrespectful because if you be disrespectful, I'm going to delete your comment. <laughs> if, you come at, if you come at it the wrong way, I'm going to delete your comment. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. I accept all opinions. But if you be rude about it, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to remove your comment. I have been doing it. Okay? I just want you to know that. So, until the next video, I will see y'all. Bye. Girl, you gave me your soul.